Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, in today's video, we are nerding out about lapidary saw blades, okay? This th things like this right here, this big guy, 14 incher, all right? Here's the deal. Um, in doing a bunch of research about lapidary saw blades, uh, I'm finding that a lot of people are throwing their blades out when they stop performing the way they initially performed out of the box. And uh, that's a huge, huge mistake. And we're gonna be talking about two types of blades in this video. Uh, I have new ones, old ones. We're gonna be taking them over to the microscope. We're gonna be really delving into the anatomy of lapidary saw blades. And then I'm gonna show you how you can pretty much extend the life of your blade years. So, um, you know, no point in uh, throwing it out unless it's a blade like this, which is bent. So uh, let's take it on over to the whiteboard Let's talk about the anatomy of saw blades. The two blades, the two blade types that we're talking about today are notched and sintered, okay? Uh, a notched blade and a sintered blade, they both start their life as a blank. Um, we're not getting into the materials that these are made out of exactly, or the grit of diamond used in them, but really just to, this is gonna be like a primer video. There will eventually be a part two we're really gonna go deep into the world of diamonds and saw blades. They start out as a round blank or probably actually a sheet and then uh, they stamp out these blanks, right? Uh, notched blades, right? Look like this. You see this little uh, like rough notches in it? Well, here's how this works, right? Uh, the red is the, the, the body here. Um, they uh, punch little notches into the whole uh, perimeter of a disc, okay? And then if you were to look at it from the, you know, facing looking down position, uh, it's got all these slots in it. The green represents diamond. They then shove diamond into those notches and press the notch closed. So the way that kind of would look, so a really zoomed up view on this notch, right? So you have your, the core of it, right? It kind of flares out, right? It, uh, it flares out like that. They then stick a bunch of diamonds in here like that. And then they push this back over, right? Kind of push that little, here, let's actually do this. They then take that flared piece, right? And they push it back over. And now you have these little diamonds encapsulated. Looking like this, going all the way down. All the notches have diamonds in them. A little series of diamonds. So, your blade, if you have a notched blade, is not worn out, okay? until you see no more notches. You have that much life in your blade. And that's just the way that is. And we're gonna go look at these under the microscope. That's a notched blade. Uh, the centered blade, we also have that core, um, except this right here, okay, is the equivalent of the notched. Except we have diamond affixed to this outer portion. If you were to look at it from top down, you can see the core, and then on the outside is a bunch of material impregnated with diamond, okay? Just so happens to be black on this one, but you can see this blade will be good until you're down to here. Down to there. That's how long you have until the blade is dead. Up until that point, you can continue to sharpen this blade. So until you run out of space here, the blade is still good. And uh, that is essentially the anatomy of a notched and a centered blade. Um, the brands don't matter for the sake of this video, um, but we have a old notched blade and a new one. And we're gonna look at the differences between those two. We have a new centered blade and a used centered blade. And uh, these two, okay, are kind of on the dull side and we will be sharpening them because they have plenty of life left in them. 
Uh, we'll also be discussing uh, how blades get dull. I think that is a topic best left for the microscope. So let's head on over to the microscope. So here we are over at the microscope and what you're looking at is the side view of that new notched blade. And we can see right in here that cut open portion that is notched and we have diamonds going all the way down here. Now, of course, we have a bunch of gold paint, which is causing a lot of reflection and you can kind of uh, not see it. But once we get over to the used notched blade, you'll really be able to see it. But we can kind of see right in here a diamond. That's a diamond diamond. So as the blade works down, you can get all the way down to here before your while well, your blades worn out. Let's uh, skip to the top down view on that. So here you can really see it. So we have those slits and that green spot right there, that's a diamond. Of course, all the gold adhesive stuff, but diamonds in here. And uh, this will run in stark contrast to the used notch blade. And uh, I think when we look at the used notch blade, that'll be a great time to discuss what actually has happened there because that's going to be the one that we're going to be repairing. Here is the used notched blade and you can really see the diamonds in here now without that coating. Okay so once again here's just the uh, my table and then going into the blade you have all of this space to work through before the blade's no longer usable unless of course it's bent. Uh, let's look at the top down view and that will really paint the picture of how used it is and what's wrong with it. Okay, so you can see we have a diamond exposed here, but as we've been cutting, as, have we, I, as I've been cutting with this blade, I've been uh, doming over, okay, from this uh, middle core over the little slit that has the diamonds. Right, so we can open these up and make this a rough surface again that's no longer burnished, no longer uh, has any uh, uh, non exposed diamonds. So, we're going to go through and repair all of this out in the shop. But I hope you can kind of see now the contrast between the new and the old. Here is the new centered blade and you can see all of these dots here these are all diamonds working all the way down you have you can go all the way to the end of the silver before the blade's no longer good here's a more zoomed in photo there and you can see the actual diamonds in the blade and uh yeah and that they're fully exposed Here's our top down view and you can see uh, from the manufacturing process uh, n no real distinguishing characteristics between the diamond coating on the outside and the actual uh, blanked out core. But we can see a couple of diamonds here and here. So that's that's good. Now we're going to switch over to the used centered blade. Here is our used blade and you can really see these exposed diamonds without that paint on it, right? Uh, I, I'm kind of partial to this blade. I like this one. This one's really good. Uh, we'll probably do a little bit of work on it uh, and we'll switch over to the top down. And here you can really see the difference, okay? We have a lot of diamond exposed here. Uh, we're, we're missing some diamonds and that will definitely happen. And uh, you can see that that core and then the 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 diamonds on the outside. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this uh, the used blades back into the shop. Now we are going to do a little bit of work on them. Then we're going to come back to the microscope and look at our top down view. So here's how we're going to do this. We are going to be you know sharpening this uh, right here in my vise. I have a 5 8 uh, steel rod. Uh, the arbor hole for my saw blade is a 5 8 so it fits on there perfectly, just like that. I recommend you do this on an immovable object such as this. Uh, you could also take a rod and maybe uh, just clamp it to a workbench. Do not do this in your saw, okay? 
Uh, you do not want to be uh, applying uh, like that kind of side load to the arbor shaft in your saw. Take your blades off when you do this. Next, we are going to be using a bastard file. Now, uh, I didn't come up with that name, but a bastard file is a single directional cut file. And the important part here is the edge. See that? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, the file is extremely hard. Hard enough to chip those diamonds. So uh, on that serrated edge, we are going to go around the blade and peen it, okay? Just like that. You're not chopping wood, okay? No need to swing the thing like crazy. And after this, you'll notice, okay, as you drag your fingers across, you'll feel that roughened area, right? Versus the smooth area that we saw with the microscope. You're gonna go all the way around, and if you drag your finger across it, you should feel a texture. We're gonna do that to both blades, take them up to the microscope, and inspect our work. So back at the microscope, you can see down here, we have our old used up notched blade that wasn't cutting very well. And you can see how smoothed out that edge of that metal was. And then after the peening, okay, you can see all of this material here has been squished down. We've exposed more of those little, uh, notched seams that have the diamond in it and uh once we start cutting this metal will just kind of like roll back and roll back and you know this isn't a directional blade so i'll probably put it on either direction and it'll fold that metal back and really expose a bunch of diamond and it should be cutting really good and i mean i think the side by side uh, really kind of shows that but the real uh, test is going to be down in the shop, at the saw, let's cut something, I'll let you know how it feels, if it feels like a good blade, or if it's got that resistance, you know, if you've ever tried to cut with a blade that's a little on the burnished doll side, you know what I'm talking about, um, if you haven't, you're going to get there eventually if you keep running the same blade, let's head out to the shop now. Well, we got some picture jasper here, nice little slab of picture jasper. This is a good hard stone to test the saw blade on. We're just going to nip this little end off here, see how that goes. Well, that sure felt like a new blade if you ask me. Now, I know that's subjective, right? Um, I can't really say, yeah, it exactly feels like a new blade. Well, or can I? Or can I? I have a new notched blade sitting right over there. Let's fire that one up, see how that one feels. Well, uh, I would say my old blade feels like a brand new blade. Well, uh, first off, I got to thank James. Uh, James is the guy who sent me the microscope, which is awesome. This video would not have been as good uh, or informative without the microscope. So that's great. Those photos are, are awesome. And, you know, if you liked this content, there's hundreds of other videos here on this channel. And uh, maybe if you saved some money, because now you're not going to go out and, you know, uh, buy a new blade, maybe you could just give me a thumbs up on the channel. Uh, it tells YouTube to, you know, maybe promote it to some other people. So with that said, uh, I think we're going to call this one wraps. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you in the next video.
Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I'll just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.